Hello, my name is Neil and we have come to the next in our series of Advent Reflections on the carol Hark the Herald Angels Sing. It was composed by Charles Wesley in 1739, but apparently had a very gloomy tune to begin with. Happily, we now have the well-known tune composed by Felix Mendelssohn that does credit to the tremendous lyrics of the song. It was written about 200 years ago, but it is still as relevant as ever. The second verse of the carol is all about the eternal Son of God becoming a human child who would reveal God to us. Veiled in flesh the Godhead see, hail the incarnate deity, pleased as man with man to dwell, Jesus, our Emmanuel. These short phrases contain so many spiritual truths. The baby Jesus would become the saviour of the world. The eternal son of God becomes a human child to reveal God to us. And he grows into a man, a real human man, not the portrayal we sometimes see in the Hollywood films, but rather something more like the, the Chosen series that I find more realistic. So let's focus in on that, that line, pleased as man with man to dwell. Jesus was pleased to be a man. He saw it as part of the Father's plan, and we will see why. And Jesus was also pleased to live with other men and women, most notably his 12 disciples. He had real relationships. He called them friends, brothers, followers. And the reality of Jesus as a man is really important. So why is that? In the Gospels, we read that Jesus as a man was hungry, he was tired, Jesus was lonely, he was misunderstood, he was abandoned, he was lied to, he was betrayed. Does that sound familiar? Really, it's the stuff of everyday life for all of us. And why is this important? It shows that Jesus was a real human being like us and had a similar life experience to us. More than that, it shows that Jesus can understand how we feel when we are in those same circumstances. Maybe you are currently experiencing some of those emotions of being lonely or misunderstood or abandoned. The stuff that life throws at us at the most inopportune time. I want to say this. Jesus knows exactly how you are feeling and is able to come alongside in our time of need because he has been there. It is also important because we do not have a God who is distant, who's beyond, who's above, but rather one who talks and walks with us. Christianity is completely unique in proclaiming this. Despite all that Jesus endured, in the book of Hebrews, we find an astonishing claim. And I'd like to read Hebrews chapter 4, verses 14 to 16. Therefore, since we have a great high priest who ascended into heaven, Jesus, the Son of God, let us hold firmly to the faith we profess. For we do not have a high priest who is unable to empathise with our weaknesses, but we have one who has been tempted in every way, just as we are, yet he did not sin. Let us then approach God's throne of grace with confidence, so that we may receive and find grace to help us in our time of need. What a claim! Jesus was tempted as a man, and yet he was without sin. He lived a life like ours, yet none of his experience was tainted with sin. But with Jesus, it goes even further. Remember, he was God become man. He was accused of being blasphemous, can you imagine? If they only knew who he was, what arrogance it was. Jesus was looked down upon and he was scorned. He was beaten and put painfully to death for a crime he did not commit. The injustice of it all. But this was only possible precisely because Jesus was a man. As a man, Jesus was able to overcome sin, to defeat death, and to emerge triumphant. And what is more, he invites us to share in that victory and to receive mercy and to find grace to help us in our time of need. I invite you to share in all that Jesus, the man, has achieved 
on our behalf. Let's finish with a time of prayer. Father, we thank you for sending your son Jesus to live with us, to experience what we experience, to share our pain and to share our lives. We pray that in this Advent period, we will better understand the reality of God become man and all that Jesus has achieved for us so that we can live and walk and talk with Jesus every day. Amen.